Hey YouTubers, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I want to give a big shout out to our 651 followers. Thank you for following our channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that button below and subscribe to our channel. We were recently invited by LG Electronics, the parent company to LG Chem and LG Solar, to become certified for their new energy storage solution. You may already know LG Solar produces solar modules and LG Chem produces storage batteries. These are both subsidiary companies to LG. And now LG Electronics will produce an all-in-one solar inverter for the LG Chem and LG Solar. To really understand why this is so important, we need to backtrack a little to help you understand. LG Chem has been producing a storage battery for several years now in partnership with Solar Edge Technologies, an inverter manufacturer. This combination was referred to as an LG Chem Store Edge system. Many installers, including ourselves, loved the concept but it was so poorly implemented that we quickly stopped offering the option to customers. What happened was Solar Edge produced the inverter and LG Chem produced the battery. But in order for the two to communicate, you had to use all these random third-party controllers, relays, transformers, and other components to really make the two systems operate properly. And when it was all said and done, it was a pretty big eyesore. Here's some photos of what I'm talking about. Now, SolarEdge did try to produce some of the components needed, but it was inconsistent with distributors having those components in stock, making it even harder for installers to properly install the systems. Another issue that arose frequently was there being so many different manufacturers that when the system went offline or you experienced issues, it was very time consuming to troubleshoot and figure out what the exact issue was and who to put a warranty claim against. Fast forward 2019, LG Electronics has listened to many complaints. And when I say many, I mean many complaints from installers and customers and they've decided to resolve the issues once and for all with their own ESS system. LG will produce the inverter, controllers, transformers, and just about anything else we may need. Here's a photo of all the components. Very clean, very simple. All covered under one warranty by one manufacturer. As of meeting with LG, it will be simple and straightforward for the installers and the customers. The only thing we don't have as of this time is the pricing. It is expected to be released in a few weeks, so we should have an update on that later on. But let's get back to the entire system. Now this is LG's first generation all-in-one system, so there are still some bugs to be figured out. For example, LG said the system can be retrofitted to an existing solar system. But as you can see in this diagram, when you use the system during a grid outage, the batteries won't be able to recharge once they're depleted. Not saying there aren't some creative ways to get around this, but we had to discuss this with LG and we're hoping that LG comes up with a tried and true solution before the pro final product release. A clear advantage for new customers though, is you can have your entire solar plus storage system warrantied by LG. This means you'll receive a 25 year warranty on your solar panels, a 10 year warranty on your battery, and a 10 year warranty on the inverter. We did ask LG if there would be, or they would at least offer an extended warranty for the inverter, and they didn't have an answer at that time. My guess is, they will more than likely offer an extended warranty on the inverter after the first generation or improve the warranty on the inverter in general. They've done that with their panels. There were some other things LG failed to touch on though. First, 
LG gave no reference to the minimum or maximum solar system size, the 7.6 kilowatt inverter. This is the only inverter option unless you're retrofitting, then there's a different 5 kilowatt inverter that's really just for the battery. Second, the maximum backup power available during a grid outage. Looking over the spec sheets, we don't see a clear answer to this and the engineers we met with didn't have a clear answer at that time. But they did say they would get back to us in regards to that in the coming weeks. So we're still waiting for that answer. Setting these small issues aside, we believe this is going to be a great product for customers that have been waiting for an affordable option, or we're at least hoping affordable option, for a solar plus storage system. Like I previously mentioned, we don't have pricing just yet, but LG did say that it would be more affordable than a Pika energy system or a zone in battery system. We're hoping to see a price point around or between seven to $10,000. If LG is able to achieve this price point or range, Tesla will truly have some real competition as LG will be able to keep up with demand and not have customers waiting eight plus months just for a battery. I don't have much else to touch on regarding the system until LG releases more information in the coming weeks, but we will be comparing the system to a Tesla Powerwall 2, Pika Energy Harbor Plus backup system, and a zone and battery system. So be sure to hit that subscribe button below. That's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on energy efficient home improvements and emerging technologies in the renewable energy industry. Until next time.